man, that's fine. I guarantee. Now, I want to tell you something. Every time I get right here at this jogging block, I can't help but talk about a bunch of my friends down in Louisiana, them Cajun, them wonderful Cajun. You know, Cajun love the children. There ain't no two way about that like everybody else. And I got a bunch of them in one family, and all of them are fine looking peoples, except one. He ain't but four feet, 11 inches tall, 17 year old. And they ain't ashamed for him, anything like that. They would just like for him to be like some of others. Some of them are six feet four, six feet three. And he got a daughter that's six feet herself. And they just kind of worry about that. And one day, the father, you're about one of them chiropractic people, you know. And he thought maybe he could took this church and maybe he could help him out. He did not know some better. So they drove about 43 miles to town and they get there and they go to this chiropractic people and man, he said, well, we'll try to help. So he took him into his office and he got a table with just about the height of this shopping block. That's what made me talk about that. And he lay him out there and he get four big men. One get a hold of one leg, another one get a hold of another leg, and another one get one arm, another one get another arm, and they just pull just as hard as they can <laughs> to stretch them little short Cajun people. He said, now, nah, you got to have them treatment every day for one hour at least. He got to be pulled on like that. And I know you live 43 miles from here and you can't make it all the time, so how come you don't get your family together there and one get one leg, one, the other leg, one arm, the other arm, and you did that yourself? My friend said, okay. So he left. He did not see this uh, chiropractic people for about three months. And he brought himself to town, he would walk down the street, <laughs> and he see the chiropractic people. Oh, he said, I'm glad for you to see me. The chiropractic man said, I'm glad for you to see me too. How is you son? Oh, he say, he's just fine. Well, he say, have you been treating him like I told you? He say, oh, yeah, one hour every day we put him on the chopping block. What we got at home, we use that. And we pull on him one hour like you told me. He said, well, has he grown any at all? He say, not one doggone inch, but he's confessed to 50 unsolved crime, I guarantee you. <laughs>